Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil and in this Laravel project video tutorial, we will learn that how we can create my orders page. So these are the points for this video. So first of all, uh, we will sh uh, just make a route for my orders, right? And this route will be open on a orders click. Then uh, we will fetch the data from the database with a join because we need to make a join on a two table one on uh, orders and another one is the product right because in our order tables we have only saved id and in the product we have the image price gallery and name and all right and uh, after that we will make a view for my orders and uh, we will just uh, render the data on a my orders view and uh, at the last we will push the code on a github repository if you want to just follow me on uh, or join me on insta then link is here right so now let's uh, get started first of all i am just going to jump on a header.blade.php and let's find out uh, name orders right and let's make a link here with a my orders name right like this and uh, let's try to refresh it and now you will find that 404 page because we did not define any page or route for this url so now let's uh, jump on a web.php file and create a uh, one more route here right um, so it should be a get url right and uh, then we can just put here my orders and uh, let's make a function with the name of my orders inside a product controller right and uh, let's open this product controller now and at the last let's define the function which we just put inside the array which is my orders right so first of all let's uh, check out the routes and all that the, everything is working fine or not yes everything is working fine now let's just make a little bit space here we basically need the old data which is present inside our order now right so we can copy it for a save the time because I already teach you that how we can just get the session data from the session and join and all. So it will be uh, easy for us and it will just save our time to copy code, right? So now we are getting the data from a uh, orders table, right? And uh, we will just put the join on products and a order. So just replace this card table with the order simply, right? I hope you understand that why we are actually doing it. So let me just uh, open a database and let me just clear the old uh, doubts if you have any kind of doubts, right? So in you can see that we just want to fetch the data from. Uh, oh, sorry guys, for sorry sorry these uh, for really these kind of warnings, right? So we just want to show a list from my orders, but in my order table I have only product ID. I don't have product name product gallery and price and all right so but I can just get this data from a products table because I have a ID of every product right so we will make a join on the base of product ID and the ID of products table right and here we are doing the same thing we are using a orders table product ID and product ID of product table agreed so and at the last we don't need to put here some function so let's just simply use here get function and uh, put a semicolon at the last and uh, we can just uh, simply remove this stuff from here and uh, just return here uh, and let's check what we are actually getting here in our result right so let's see we got all data in a json format now we just want to render this uh, uh, data on our view template right so for that let's just uh, jump on a views and create a one more file with the name of uh, my orders dot blade dot php right and uh, this is really similar to the cards list so i can just paste it here right and uh, we can just put here uh, my orders and just remove this stuff from here we don't need this order now and order now at the bottom uh, links right 
and here in our return we can load this uh, my orders view right and let's take this old data inside a variable like orders and take a key and a value of orders in the array right so i hope everything still should work fine except Shelly one or two errors yes I am expecting this error products so because uh, on uh, my orders we just want to remove this order products to the orders right and uh, we don't have any card ID so we can just simply remove it this is not required for a moment right and let's see what we are getting here so now we are getting our phone and description and all but there are lots of thing other things are pending like uh, if you just want to check in the order so status payment status and address and all these kind are still pending right so what we can do here so let's add these things inside uh, column 4 so just put here a name like this uh, status delivery status like this then um, we can add here uh, address right and here we can just define a status as an arrow key then address uh, again we have a payment status payment status means if we are uh, process the payment on delivery then it will be a pending right if it already done the online payment that means it's a done and uh, so that we can just put here a uh, payment underscore status and at the last we can just add here delivery uh, method sorry payment method payment my bad for that and let's simply add here payment underscore method so let's see what we are actually getting here now so we got a address payment status uh, and we can use here a colon similarly you can use a colon again right so we get the all details here so once our payment is done and method is done these can be cha changed so now how we can change it so for that we have an admin panel for a moment we don't have this but in the advanced project in this in the same series of this project uh, or you can see that in the advanced part of the same series we will just create the admin panel and much more things so thanks for watching this video i hope you got this video if you still have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel in the next video we will uh, make a functionality for register user right and uh, guys if you want to join me on insta then you can join link is given here and i am also uh, go live on every saturday at 8 pm so you can join me here you can ask me the question here and any kind of question so thanks for watching this video bye bye take care